Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is the first video in the new studio. Oh my goodness, we made it, but it is kind of a mess and I'm a mess today. Everything feels a little messy. It's a little echoey in here. I will be fixing that. Um, there's a lot to fix. If you could see the floor right now, there is a sea of makeup. I do have brand new makeup right in front of me on my vanity here that we are gonna get to. I'm gonna get ready, chat a little bit about the move, life update. I just did probably the worst manicure of my life. Uh, I have been unboxing upon unboxing upon, um, upon, upon unboxing upon unboxing. And then I go to sleep at night and I dream of unboxing and tape scissors and my nails have just like been through it my cuticles are screaming at me like I can actually like I ah, like I can hear them screaming at me my lips are chapped I wanted to for whatever reason oh gosh there goes the nail polish <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of jellyfish from Kosas on my lips we're gonna get rocking and rolling in the new makeup in the new studio, which is not done. There is a wire hanging out in the back. There will be shelves with really cool lighting. It's gonna look great. Um, I don't even have a ring light. So I filmed the test this morning, made sure that it wasn't too dark and that it was okay because I have not unpacked lighting, but I wanted to film today. And you know what? I kind of like it. I'm kind of like liberated. There's not like these big box lights and like the ring light. It feels really good to be here. I cannot stand the background. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get like a vase or something. Beautiful orchid right here. Let's see. We have puka and a vase. These are some of my most favorite decorative items. They're just glass. Yeah. Ah, peeled the paint. I just peeled the paint off of our new shelves. How did that even happen? Isn't my background improved? It's gonna get so much better and I cannot wait to do like a full blown tour in here for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thumbs up this video. Let me know if you wanna see that. So we're just gonna get through this hot mess. Get ready with me, try a new product in the new studio and let's place bets right now of how soon I will damage my freshly painted. Oh, yep, there it goes. I honestly thought this would dry a little bit faster because usually metallic polishes dry very quickly. I did try out this one from What's Up Nails. This is the shade Agate and it's pretty. It's just the situation um, being rushed. Okay, so we're gonna dive into the Marshmallow Primer from NYX. I'm gonna take a little pump of this guy right here and just go on the face. Ooh, that is sweet smelling. It does not smell like marshmallows though. It smells like strawberry-ish or like those pencils when you're a child, like the eraser. That's a weird description, but I'm sure I'm bringing back memories for someone. This is more of a moisturizer than I think I had expected. The thing on here that it doesn't say is what kind of a primer. It just says use alone or with foundation. Decision number one is gonna be, am I going to use Dior or e.l.f.? Let me think real hard about this one. All right, so I wanna kind of actually try the e.l.f. I know, surprise, surprise. Does this match? Hey, you know what? That's actually not, not terrible from where I'm sitting. And that is like coveragey extreme. Are you kidding me? All right, so what I want to do is go into this Wet n Wild Catching Waves uh, Lilo and Stitch Collection sponge. Let's try out the e.l.f. foundation and we will go with the Dior Forever on another day. I have a lot of drugstore product in front of me. This is dominantly drugstore stuff that we're testing. Oh my gosh, this dude looks really, this is like not a flattering photo. He looks very angry. I'll show you before I go and wet this. Uh, he does not look friendly. All right, we are going to get to foundation application. <laughs> Okay, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the sponge, so I almost want to go in with more of a brush. 
and then maybe go back with the sponge, but that sponge does not, it doesn't feel like a normal sponge. Like the Beauty Blender has a very specific sponginess to it. And then a lot of the other almost wannabe Beauty Blenders, it's not as spongy enough. I'm making so much sense, you know? Dude, I am late to the party on this foundation though. This is actually really nice. This is the Camo CC Cream Color Correcting Full Coverage Natural Finish with Collagen Peptides and Niacinamide. SPF of 30, we'll have to see how that works out for me because honestly, it's a titanium dioxide zinc oxide. Sunscreen should be fine. Sunscreen usually makes me itch my brains out and rashes me and it's a whole thing. Uh, this is the shade Light 280 neutral. I like it. It's very almost gel liquid. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer consistency, but a little puffier, but not in a mousse way in like a gel way. So it just smooths out really, really nicely. What I'm gonna do now, because I feel, I feel very much like my neck and my face are not entirely matching. This brush from Patrick Ta and then the Major Glow All Over Glow Balm are incredible. What I like to do is get this down on the neck and then take a little bit of whatever foundation I have used and kind of brush it over, not so you have like a full neck of foundation, but just so it matches a little bit. I go on my ears, back over here, go down a little bit, and then I take just a tiny little bit of whatever I have used that day. And I feel like this just helps things to blend a lot better. For some reason, I like this glow stuff a little bit on my forehead. It just kind of smooths things out. I do a lot of weird little tricks with my makeup. I wanna be more in detail sharing with you guys all the odd things I do. Not just like step one, step two, step three, but like just little teeny tiny things that can help you out. They may apply to you, they may not. So there is that. I do wanna do a little bit of contouring. Um, this is not a new product talked about it a lot. This is the Danessa Merix. This is a sculpting cream. This is in medium one. And I'm just gonna take a Zoeva contour brush, get a little bit on here. And I like to kind of go a little bit under the cheekbones, but then lift it up. A little bit under, lift it up. Take the excess along the jawline. A little bit down the nose. I've just been doing quicker makeup when it comes to the face. I do a lot of steps, but I just like breeze right through them when I'm not chatting. I can do this so quickly. How have you guys been? How was your summer? Leave me in the comments. What is the weather like for you guys here? It is a sauna outside and I am actually surprisingly here for it. Everyone's like, I hate it so much. And I'm like, give me all of the heat. I don't care, give it to me. I know it's not normal. Uh, for Texas to have this kind of heat, but I think I had so much gray and rain in Washington that I'm just like, I will take it, sign me up. So this is not like the most sculpted contour by any means, but we're just doing a little light shaping on the face. I am gonna go in with the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. And I tried this out yesterday for the first time. I did not like the color that I chose, so I'm gonna go with Coconut flakes, I used sugar biscuit yesterday. It was too dark, I was not paying attention. I was literally unpacking makeup and this is what I do. I start unpacking and I get distracted and I sit down and I start doing my makeup and <laughs> it's a problem. It's like, I just, I wanna swatch try play and I don't wanna clean acrylic dividers and load up drawers. Like to me, that's not the fun part. I wanna just like get into the color and trying. So it's been a slower process than I think I thought getting this room together, but we are getting there. Okay, so this is a pretty intense concealer. As you can see, I'm gonna go back with the blender and just pat that out. I will say this one with no foundation on, no primer, no nothing, that's how I tested it out. It sinks in and covers really nicely and actually looks really, really natural. I was surprised by that. We are covering up the no sleep. Really? Oh my gosh, that just like flew out of my hand. I have my Elios mirror over here. It's not plugged in. The cord is not long enough. I need to get an extension cord. I'm gonna move it just a little. I hope that doesn't annoy you. A little closer. 
So now what we are going to do, actually I'm gonna take just a little bit more of the Danessa Merricks. This is a different one. I like to use both. I know it's a little high maintenance. I know, I know, I know. And I'm just gonna pull that forward more on the apples of the cheeks. I love this technique of taking a bronzer that is more warm toward the front and then sculpting with something a little bit deeper toward the back and then just having them kind of meet up and blend together. I am gonna go into this Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, up to 16 hours of wear time from e.l.f. I have not tried this out, and this is something that I have been addicted to, is putting on setting spray before I go in to powder. It just really seals everything in, helps your makeup last all day long. You put this on top of all of your wet liquids, concealers, cream products, seal it all in. You guys know I love taking my Dyson and kind of making sure everything is warmed up, dried off. And then I go back in and everything is just like, it is like laid down in place until I wash the makeup off at the end of the day. For all skin types infused with green tea, cucumber, and aloe known to nourish the skin and keep makeup looking fresh. I like to have my tool on and ready to go. That way I can like hose myself down and dry off. Oh, okay, that's a nice mister. That is refreshing. I love the mister on here. Are you kidding me? Do you see that? It's like fog. It has a, it has a taste. It's a little sharp. It does not smell like cucumber with that call out. I, for some reason expected, Ooh, it's going to be so like fresh summery cucumber, but I'm not mad at this. This went on nicely. It's not terribly sticky tacky, but it has enough of a stick that I feel like everything just went and is in place, which is what I want. Okay. So now we are going to go in with a little bit of powder and I'm going to be using my go-to fave. We are gonna to get to the new stuff in just a moment, um, but I'm gonna go underneath the eye with this just a little bit, smooth it all out, set it all down into place. And then if I want a lighter application elsewhere, I'll just go ahead and take a brush, same product, and I'll just kind of give a lighter application where I tend to get a little crunchier on my forehead through here rock and roll we are ready for some bronzer and i am excited to try this out i got this collection sent to me i put it in the pr unboxing that i did with james i will link that below go check it out this is the hula honey palette from wet n wild in the lilo and stitch collection now i mentioned that i felt like these tones were really nice really just not overly orangey really flattering um hold please please <laughs> Oh my gosh, really? I'll be back in like five years. Okay, hold on, let's just... Open sesame. Ah, yes, so satisfying. So we have some highlighters, we have bronzers. Let's go in and check it out. I'm gonna go in to Aloha up top. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. That is painted. Dude, I watched the weirdest movie last night. Um, the one with Nicolas Cage playing himself. Have any of you seen this movie? It was truly, really weird. It was entertaining, but also very weird. I'm not mad at this. This is actually going on really nice. I feel bronzed and warmed up, but not like orangey. So now what I wanna do is a little bit of blush. We're gonna go into the Butter Dream Team face palette right here. I'm gonna grab one of my favorite blush brushes, which is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection. For some reason, this shape is just perfect to kind of lift and give the apple of the cheek just a nice little punch of color. And then I am just gonna go boop right into that darker one and just really on the apples go right here and just add a little depth and extra rosiness. So now what I wanna do is a little 
highlight. I actually, I didn't think I was gonna go in here, but we're going in here. We're gonna take this Wet n Wild Lilo palette and just stretch its use. So we're gonna go a little like this and kind of up on the temples too. When it is hot out, you know what you do? You embrace the glow, just embrace it. Instead of constantly putting more powder on to remove any of the oils or the glow, just extra glow it up and make it look like, hey, I'm like this on purpose. It's like glamorous, sweaty look. This is nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do have new lip liners from Kosas. We're gonna go into natural beige. Let's just kind of swatch a -roo. Okay, that's a lot darker actually than I thought, which I like. So we're gonna go on in with this. And I still am doing that thing where I make a really, really weird face, stretch my lips, and I kind of connect the two points here and just lightly fill that in first and then pull down. Now this is not, it's not applying as well as I would like it to. Applying better on my hand. I like it. Okay, I really like this lip liner. I do have to say I had to warm it up with my Dyson, which is useful for so many things. It's a hard formula, but the color is really nice. We'll have to wait and see. All right, I am gonna go on top of that. With a little LA Girl, I have a matte lipstick that I just wanna put right in the center. Whoa, that is not the color that is on the lid. Are you kidding me? The shade on this one is Sweet Revenge, and this one is Ooh La La. Okay, that's more like it. This is what I was like hoping for. That's like a true highlight. Let's just go like this. This is like a Buxom's White Russian. It's just like this creamy with a subtle, or like Myth from MAC, I think that's called. Ooh, my lips are dry. Okay, we're gonna go back in with the lip oil and just, that's, this might be as good as it gets. Mm, I don't like it. We're gonna switch gears and go to the brows and eyes. I'm actually gonna go into the LA Girl palette. I have a bunch of new drugstore palettes right here in front of me, and I'm gonna use this one, um, these two shades right here for my brow. So another thing that I like to do recently is because I'm always changing up my brow, as you guys know. I like to fill them in before I do eyeshadow and everything, but then also remember to do kind of a last look and adjustment with the brows. I'm enjoying going a little bit darker, not necessarily fuller, but like I like to take a deep dark brown and I'm gonna do that right through here and kind of go on that outer edge not to intentionally give like an ombre effect at all. I just like them to be a little bit more bold and not get so lost on my face. I'm really excited because I do have this palette in front of me that is an indie palette. This was sent to me. This is the Fantasy Cosmetica eyeshadow palette. And I just felt like the colors were really, really unique and beautiful. And I think I'll have to reach a little bit into another palette. Why don't we go and check out this new Urban Decay Foxy Naked palette. This is one of the minis. I'm actually so excited. I have not put color color on my lids in a minute. So we're gonna go in with Sly and just set up the crease. That color is really pretty like really flattering. It does not come off too gray, but it's definitely neutral. It's like not warm and it's not overly cool tone either. Really, really nice shade. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just do this business for a minute. I really love over blending that first shade and just making sure it is fully, fully, fully smooth and then kind of going back in. Very blown out, very blended. Go back in and just kind of focus on the outer, any area that you want more intensity. I am gonna go into Funky Town 
So today on the agenda of updates in the home, I'm super jazzed because I'm getting a chandelier hung in the closet. We don't have all of our lighting picked out, which is a whole thing. Like there, I need a light in the closet in here, in the dining room, in the room where my piano will be going, in this room. Like there's a lot that needs to be done. And then we are getting the fireplace installed next week. Then we have carpet being installed. So it's still kind of crazy here. I can't wait to do a full-blown home tour. I've never done that before, but it's going to take a minute. So I might just do like room by room. I think that might be interesting and show a little bit of the process and then the finished result once it's all 100% done. But I really, I love this home. I love, love, love this home. And it feels really good to be filming. Like I just, I didn't want to wait. I was like, you know what? I don't have it perfectly figured out in here, but I wanted to do a makeup video today. I didn't want to just vlog, which I think I will still vlog quite a bit. I really enjoy doing that and I really enjoy the response and sharing with you guys. And it just feels so much more intimate in a way, but I want to do both, you know? So you can expect to see vlogs and then trying new makeup videos and that whole thing. Now, like I'm sat back from being in LA and I'm like, I love makeup, no doubt. I love all of it, but I also realized I had this tunnel vision. I'm not I'm gonna say it was kind of an obsession. It was the obsession of my life. And I made every excuse for it. I was like, oh, it's just my job. But I literally would just constantly be like, new makeup, new makeup, new makeup. And yes, on one hand, it is my job. But then also I was not paying attention to enjoying anything else in my life. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, guess what? I love learning to cook and bake. And I'm getting back into working out and being more active. And I don't know, you got to just diversify a little bit and not get so tunneled in on one thing. This is blending really, really well. I am kind of shocked. Now what I want to do is I'm kind of leaning toward the, oh my gosh, what is that? These are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm doing that thing where I wanna put every single color on my eyes and I realize that's gonna look like a hot mess, so maybe not. Um, I am gonna go and take a big old risk and we're gonna go in with this more like mermaidy blue. Wow. That's really, really pretty. Just like a little bit more, maybe. This is beautiful. I am loving it so much. I am going to put a little more depth on the outer corner using a bigger brush now. I really love that blue. That kind of teal blue is stunning. I'm gonna show you guys some swatches of this palette because it is very, very, very beautiful. I do want to give this 30 hour infallible grip liner from L'Oreal a shot. I'll let you guys know. I don't know that it's going to last 30 hours. That's a pretty bold claim. It has a really nice long tip. I don't think I got that straight. If you can talk and do winged eyeliner, who are you? I can barely breathe and do this. The liner actually went on really well. I just don't have the correct mirror setup where I could get really close and like, and like get really in there. So I think this is actually pretty good, all things considered. I'm gonna pop on a little mascara. I have a new one from Physicians Formula. This is the Diamond Mascara Mineral Wear. It has a really nice brush. It's more of a rubberized brush. I think they're doing the chandelier right now. I can kind of hear it. <gasps> The other thing about living here, you guys, it's so quiet. I have not had to complain about really noise issues at all beyond Puka being my alarm system when anyone comes near the door, but like there's no airplanes, there's no heavy traffic. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, have you guys seen on IG brown noise? I don't know what it means that that feels good to my brain. Like I literally sit there like kind of in a lull and I'm like, oh my, like my brain just like turns down and it's just like, oh my gosh, where do you get a brown noise machine or track? It's so good. 
You know what else is good? This mascara is actually pretty dang good. All right, I got a little carried away. I need to clean up a little bit under here, but this mascara is so freaking clumpy in the best way that I don't even want to put lashes on. Now, I do want to give a warning. I tend to be someone that likes a false effect look. I want the lashes to be a little bit, but there's something there where it's not totally natural looking. So if you like that, then this is one that I would recommend trying out that's at the drugstore. If you don't, then this is not for you. I feel like I need a different lip. We're doing a different lip. I like a nude lip with this, but I wanna do something a little more defined. So I am gonna go in with this Kevin Aquan lip liner. This is in the shade Divine. I think it's cause of the lip oil that I put on first. Like this lip liner is very colorful, but on my lips, it's not, it's like not going on. That's a little bit weird. I'm gonna go in with Creme de Nude from MAC. Kind of what I was hoping for from the LA girl, if I am being honest. And this color right here, ooh la la, it's very similar. I'll show you side by side. But the LA girl just kind of moved around too much and is a little bit too bright. So here's the MAC and here is LA girl. It was just like a little bit too much. And I'm gonna go on top with a little bit of Please Me, also from MAC. For my final move, I'm gonna take something brand new to me over the past couple of months that I have fallen in love with. This is the Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Hydrating Facial Mist. I got this at just a natural food store, I believe. I forgot the name of it, but Whole Foods does have this brand. This is for dry to combo skin, and this just really just plushes up the skin adds so much moisture to the skin. And I've been loving this even when putting on serums in my skincare routine. So I will douse my skin just with a little bit of moisture. So hyaluronic acid has something to kind of work with and I'm loving it. And it's not crazy expensive. So I just wanted to share with you all something that has glycerin in it, which is part of why I like MAC Fix Plus. It gives that kind of sheen to the skin that I find really, really pretty. And I feel that this does the same thing. This is not a makeup extending spray at all, but it just hydrates the skin and I really, really love it. It does not have the best sprayer. And you can just do this all day, every day, and it will kind of puff everything back up and bring things to life. And there we have it. This is a more colorful, not, you know, no makeup makeup by any means, but not crazy either. This would not take me too much time had I not just been trying new things, kicking back and talking with you all. I hope you enjoyed this kind of not really pulled together first video in the new studio. Thank you so much for hanging in with me. I know that it's been here, there, everywhere, different Airbnbs, and it's taken so much time and we're getting there and I plan on filming more. Let me know what you wanna see next. I love hearing from you guys and just thank you for being along for the ride and we're almost there. So expect to see more updates in this room very, very soon. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Yeah.